Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. Another open Twitter demo vlog. I'm so happy you guys like these, and I got a bunch of submissions in today, which we'll be going over and listening to thoroughly. Last time this happened, I got a couple of contenders in, and we ended up releasing this Joshua Goodwill track on my Ones to Watch label. But before we dive in, shout out to the comments of last week. I'm so happy everyone enjoyed this dedicated dad vlog I made. Incredible to read all the comments on it as well. Shout out to Eclectic Method for the kind shout out and the number two comment of last week, Rio Olio. Thank you as well. I appreciate each and every one of you commenting, leaving suggestions and all that good stuff. So if you have one now already, make sure to comment below. And as you can see, I'll have a look. I'll have a look and listen to these demos as well. I'm taking you back to a few days ago where I recorded this. Hey, hey, hey. So what you say. And so we're here. I'm very excited for this. It's been a while since I did an open Twitter demo vlog. I'm actually looking for people that I can sign, tracks that I can play out and possibly discover you as a new future talent. <laughs> And so I posted it on my Twitter and I asked you guys to hashtag open Twitter demo vlog me with your demos and a ton of demos came in. Very happy to see that and we're gonna go and listen to about 12 of them right now. Wow, opening this Twitter demo session with a banger. Really liking what I'm hearing. Um, this is definitely a competitor. Basically, when my face turns like that, we have a winner. Definitely something I would play out. And I, I do see a little buy button here. Mr. Dead Star Music, you need to send me this because I can play it out. Too bad it's already released because I would have loved uh, to release this on my Ones to Watch label. Demo number two here, I'm just gonna randomly pick someone. Very interesting with the tempo changes there. Obviously, I do love my uh, Jersey Club and I think it's very brave for you to dive into this. I can tell that you've not been making music for a, a long time, but what I love about this as well is that you uh, dare to experiment with the kick patterns and I love the choppy samples in there, but what I do think is that you need to make a lot more, listen to a lot of Jersey Club and really analyze how they program the beats, how they program the chops and obviously get your hands on that real Jersey Club kick drum as well, uh, which will help you out a lot. Demo number three right now. So first thing that came in my mind was like, how did they get the vocal? I want this a cappella. But I see here that I'm assuming his friend Fabio Pizzoli uh, redid the vocals. And so technically, this is not a remix, this is not a bootleg, this is actually a cover of the song. Which is cool, it's really well produced and obviously here you see Mix and Master by Luca Magistro. I can hear by the production that it has been mastered. Um, it sounds really professional. So my only comment is on the title. I don't think I would play this, but, but I would think that in Italy, where uh, Vina are from as well, this could be really big. Demo number four, uh, Tony Buttons. Let's see if you can push my buttons, Tony. I love the little Be More section uh, there at the end. So uh, Be More uh, club style from Baltimore is actually the predecessor of Jersey Club. It was really nice to see to hear those break beats again. What I love about uh, what you do, Tony, for some strange reason, this sounds super underground and super techno-y, 
while still being, you know, the big beat EDM type of stuff. My only problem is I don't know who who, sh- who would play this. I do like the production, but it seems a little bit minimal and I would love to hear something more catchy perhaps in there just keep doing you and just keep out slamming those tracks demo number five in this open twitter demo session here charlie I have one one big rule and that is I never ever give feedback on snippets. In my past I've given feedback on many snippets and then producers would get lazy and they would think oh you know I would I'll finish this later on in life and then the track gets lost the snippet never gets finished and it's such a waste of time. A big talent producers need to develop, I feel, is to finish tracks as well. And so obviously you saw my head nodding there. So this means you should really finish the track for me to review one day or any other professional. Go for it. Demo number six right here, DJ Anganu. like about this track that it's really overwhelming it's super loud and super dark but on the negative side it's too loud as well and and the track has frequencies in there that are really like stingy to the ears so it's tricky like if you would hear this on a loud system people would probably like you know cringe their faces a little bit because of all the crazy frequencies so one tip to to try and calm those a little bit is uh, when you go say example in the lead and you uh, make a peak in the EQ just a, a very tight peak with a with a high EQ uh, or resonance value and you you skim through like the frequencies then you can instantly hear which frequencies are like really hurtful then stop there and then just uh, EQ that peak down for quite some decibels and if you do that a couple of times in your track could even be on your master uh, the frequencies will get contained. But overall, I would just uh, advise you to um, lower your master volume a little bit. Just before the master chain, lower the master volume a little bit so the track has a little, a little bit space to breathe. Keep going strong though. I know which style and which tracks you like. Just keep on making tracks and just keep this uh, mix down technique in mind. And we're on half here on this open Twitter demo session right here. In November 2017, so far I have one contender of a track I would love to play out, but I'm still looking for people to sign to my Mix Mash label, to my Once to Watch label, and hopefully it's you. Let's go and search some more. track is called can you feel it and dear travis and ozone i definitely can feel this a uh, proper production very interesting we have another contender here i'll definitely let my label people hear this and who knows you'll be hearing from us i always get super happy when i hear proper stuff hopefully i can tackle some more
What a lovely track. And I'm surprised you only have like 11 followers. This got released. Um, I think it's a proper track and it's too bad. I don't think it has surfaced somewhere or anything. So I would love to hear more from you. If you're watching right now, Motai's, hit me up on the Twitter. Tell me, hey, I'm Motai's. You wanted to hear more from me. I definitely want to hear a lot more tracks from you and see if there's anything in there that I would be able to release right now. Demo number nine in this vlog. Ah, and it is not found. So I'm, uh, you know, this is fine. I'll choose another demo number nine. But if you send me links, make sure they keep active. This could have been your shot. Too bad. It sounds really awesome. I, I am very much into it. Obviously, I can't release this on my Mixmash, Mixmash Deep, or Once the Watch label, but what I'm hearing is sounding proper. So this came out, or this was made seven months ago. I'm curious what you make now. So even in my techno sets, this might be just a little bit too synthy, and maybe because I like the heavier techno stuff, I would like to hear a heavier kick in there. But production-wise, this is on point, and... I am actually curious to hear more from you as well. Wow, this sounds so alien. This is something I've never heard before. This is super interesting. Um, way too weird for me to play, but I love it that you have your own style. It does seem to me that you need to produce more tracks to, to actually nail this type of sound, but what it reminded me of was like the first things I ever heard from Wewak, who had his own crazy and unique sound. Uh, Funky Craig is someone like that as well, so I would definitely advise you to keep going with this, but try and learn how to properly mix down your tracks. Try and see how other DJs would be able to, to play this out. And then if you can nail that, you'll be on your way and leading like a whole new group of people into this new style. Only two more demos left in this open Twitter demo vlog. I love what I'm hearing right now. I have two contenders of tracks that I want to play and want to sign. I hope I can find more. Such nice melodies and such a nice vibe in this track. There's something going wrong with, uh, with the bass line. I, I like the way you combine like the trancey synths with the future house sound, which is very unique. But I, I feel the bass line is just skipping like it's, it's not completely synced with the synths. I feel if you could have straightened that out and possibly add an extra sub to the bass line, then it would sound more tighter and, and more like a hole, so to say. I am impressed by your melodies though and production wise it sounds fine as well. One more demo on this vlog and I see a, a bunch of kids retweeted DJ Suspect Zero so let's see what what he's got. Um, Cause this should be really good I think. <laughs> And this is a crazy thing. Many big DJs don't listen to demos, but you can see what's happening in the underground right now. There's, there's people coming up with these amazing sounds and styles. 
no one has ever heard before. And this is well suspect zero. I am loving what I'm hearing. Not too sure if I could play this out, but I do feel you're onto something. And I, I like the dark and um, electro vibe you're bringing right here. And with the amount of retweets, I feel you're, uh, you're really doing good work. So not something I would necessarily sign at this moment, but I do see a big future for you guys ahead. So I have a room left for one more demo. Demo number 13. Maybe it's a lucky number. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have another contender here. So happy I went through to demo number 13 because this is definitely something I could sign on my once to watch label. So safe to say I don't have real comments. I love the little style, the, the bylay terror right here. Something new and fresh. So for you as well, Furo, I'm going to send you through to my label people. Overall, super happy with things I was hearing. I basically didn't really need to give like pro production advice such high quality i didn't even need to give melody advice you guys have all been very much on all tutorials and seeing how you can make your music sound good and it sounded exactly that very much impressed and if you're seeing this there's always hope keep on making music keep making amazing music and when you get a shot like this go for it and maybe you'll get signed so happy you enjoy this and so happy you keep motivated to make these amazing tracks that hopefully get signed and this is the key keep enjoying making music keep enjoying living up to that dream and who knows one day it might come true and maybe one day you become a contender as well i'll tell you what's up next week but do give me a like right now and do hit that subscribe button on my channel next week one of the big mysteries in real djing i'm going to talk to you about five ways on how to learn how to read a crowd it's one of the most important and intricate techniques of DJing. I'm sure this will help you and I'm excited to see you back here next week. Until then, L's up, rave safely and salute.